So let's check Garwood, what is the best item he can have, uh, what talents you want to use, also the skills, what the skills actually talk to us and tell us about this hero, also the talent tree we're going to go and the best way you want to level up your Garwood. So let's start with the skills, Garwood skills is mostly tank skills. What I mean by that is he do healing, damage taken reduction, the second skill is HP bonus, the third skill is defense bonus, healing received bonus, the fourth is actually giving some physical damage uh, bonus but this is basically one of these uh, five skills and the uh, five one is also healing uh, related but this is just one skill that one is where he actually makes some kind of damage so if we check the skills this is hero that is basically a tank you want to use him tanking behemoths tanking uh, darkling patrols or dark creatures and this kind of work the next thing we're going to check is the item that garwood is best to use so what is the best artifact that the garwood should actually wear for me as a tank hero he should wear this artifact this is Harley Quinn mask and give some boost. Of course, if you want to tank, you should definitely use infantry units. And here you have infantry units defense increased and legion in general defense increased. But the important thing about the Har um, Harley Quinn mask, <laughs> sorry, it's about the skill. Now force the selected legion to attack your legion for five seconds. Only affect dark link, dark creatures and behemoths. Now we're not going to use this hero about some PvP. He is definitely just for tanking purpose, tanking behemoths and this uh, type of work. So we definitely need this artifact. So what is the best tank uh, tree for me? First of all you have to start with overall attack. You just can't skip that. Even though we don't need that much the attack, we are focused on defense and HP. And since this hero provides a healing, we focus over the healing also. The next step is getting the defense, increase defense of your legion 1.2%. Of course, the next step is uh, getting HP up, increase the HP of your legion by 1.2%. This is a uh, shield of stability is something that all heroes should <laughs> actually click before they go to the core talents. But still it's pretty nice one, I mean your hero legions get 1% more defense, 1% less, uh, less damage and march speed 2%. Now the core talent I will start is with the tank, but we have to have something in mind. We don't care about the PvP with this hero, also we don't care for basically for the PvP. So I'm going to start with the overall defense which is 2% then I'll switch to the march speed. Now here we have some pvp talents, this one is also some kind of pvp talents since we're not going to pick which uh, fight we're going to take. Also you may need some march speed when you try to avoid behemoth attacks and this kind of stuff where you have to just move a little more faster. Now going up, uh, both these three talents are pretty nice. Uh, what I mean by that, this is for example less normal attack damage you can get. This is increase your legion healing received. Since this hero actually provides a healing, this is also a point that we may looking for. And this is being hitted with normal attacks has 10% chance to get uh, 10 rage. If you level up this uh, 5 times I think it's 50 rage. So both these three uh, skills is pretty nice. But for the beginning we are going to go with the encouraging dance where we get 10% chance to get um, 50 rage. Just because this uh, hero provides healing and we want to get as many healing as we can so our troop uh, counts to not go down. Now the second part of the talents is you again PvP or PvE, if I can say it PvE, <laughs> is basically this one is uh, reducing the hero skill damage taken by 8%. We're not focused on this and we're focused on this one. Your legion uh, gains shelter when entering battle increasing their defense by 5% for 10 seconds. Now why I decided to pick this one is uh, just because most of the times this will be rare case where we're going to fight a behemoth and the behemoth fight is around maybe three minutes something like this but in general you're going to fight more darkling patrols uh maybe level 21 currently which is the hard one 
and you want to have for 10 seconds this 5% uh, defense. The other one is just uh, hero skill damage taken reduction that is not so much related to what we are looking in one tank that are going to tank just the mobs on the map. So we're going to go with the hero age um, with the legion HP. Then we're going to go with this one when your uh, legion is hit with the normal attack they have 10% chance to join vigor increasing their HP by 1% for 3 seconds. Now after we get our HP increase and basically vigor chance to increase uh, your HP by I think 5% not so sure if we level up this 5 times. We're going to go to this one which is, which is um, your legion gets 2 more rage when their unit count is over 50% and they launch a normal attack. Now I'm not so sure is here it will be 2 or maybe 10 if you level up this 5 times. But definitely want to get more rage and more rage so this hero can fire up his healing spells. And like this you can get more HP and your count will not drop drop down really fast. Now at the final two spells is pretty both of them are pretty nice 8% less normal attack damage when their unit count is below 50% and the second one is your legion receive healing healing factor 80 when casting rage skills. Now I will go with this one just because this um, Garwood will actually fire up a healing spell and I will be happy if I get a second uh, healing spell. Like this as we're going to keep our army as much time as we can over 50% and like this this will be way better from waiting to go down below uh, 50% and actually get this extra 8% less normal attack damage. Now after you are done with all the spells basically the whole tree to this point and get your final uh, vitality. Uh, what else you can actually do? Now since we get this one by going to our tree, we can definitely maybe get this one. Your legion takes 0.8% less normal attack damage. Or maybe this one. But definitely I'll go with the uh, less normal attack damage. Of course there is pretty nice other uh, stuffs here that you can actually level up. Since we go here with the HP increase and this vigor, we can put some points here, increase the defense of your legion units by 0.4%. This is like 10% if you actually put uh, here and here. You can go with this one, increase your legion healing received by 1%. Since we're going to fire, fire up this vitality, also Gar would have a healing. And this increase of the healing is pretty nice. So you get the idea. Or maybe you can go with the was solid shield where you can use Garwood with his healing but a second hero that actually provides shield which can be pretty nice. I mean healing and shield <laughs> will make your uh, army pretty strong and really hard to be killed. So I guess this will be for this video guys. If you enjoyed hit one like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy Call of Dragons tips and tricks. Or maybe some review of the heroes, the way that skills should be done. And let me know in the comments what you think about the Garwood build, uh, where you want to use him and so on. So see you in the next video, thanks for watching and bye bye.